What is going on, guys? Welcome to live stream right here tonight, guys. I want to talk about something really important, and uh, that is the new upcoming game. It's an exclusive for PS5. Now, there has been a lot of rumors on this game over the last couple of months, and I've you know looked into it. Been a very big Silent Hill fan over the years. In fact, when the very first game came out, it was terrifying. In fact, it was probably more terrifying than any Resident Evil at the time. Resident Evil to me was more like an action-based game that was somewhat scary at times. Silent Hill was downright terrifying. If you're my age or anywhere near my age and you played it when it came out, it was definitely something you wouldn't want to play before going to bed. It was terrifying, but a great game, a true survival horror, a lot less action than Resident Evil and literally driven to scare the living bejesus out of you that was the game's real motto was immense horrific terrifying suspense and it achieved it it was pretty much the greatest survival horror game of all time i think it was way better than resident evil uh resident evil is a great series but it's been kind of diluted with all kinds of washed out storylines whereas silent hill really stayed true at least until the room uh, before that, things were good. Silent Hill 1 was good, Silent Hill 2. 3 wasn't quite as good, but it was still, you know, it was still pretty good. Just didn't live up to the hype of the first and the second one. So, Hideo Kojima was going to be taking control of the PT trailer uh, and demo, and then it was going to be a game that was called Silent Hills. It ended up turning out to be Death Stranding because Konami did not see eye to eye with Hideo Kojima and it didn't work out. So it's pretty much been a moot point and a dead title for the past five years until it resurfaced in 2020 as a launch title for PS5, an exclusive title, might I add. And this is not going to be a title that Hideo Kojima is a part of, but they have already 
uh, got information leaked somehow or another that is going to be Konami in in works with another studio, which I'm going to show you guys in a second here. And they're going to be working on a soft reboot. Now, what that means is this is not going to be a remake of the original Silent Hill. In fact, it is going to be something that new players to the series can just pick up and go with and, and not have to worry about any previous storylines. Now, that is a good thing, but it's also a bad thing because a remake of the original Silent Hill would have been splendid. Everybody would have welcomed that, and it would have been great to see the original game on a PS5 with the immense graphical power of the PlayStation 5. You'd be able to terrify every child with that game, and it would be amazing. However, they're going to be taking on kind of a new approach here. So it's going to be the Silent Hills, basically, that Hideo Kojima was trying to let out. They basically take that idea and they removed anything that Hideo Kojima had done, like any of the ideas he had, anything he had uh, written or uh, started producing on the game. That's all going to be scrapped. They're still going to go in that direction, but they're going to do it their way without him. And it's already been under production for like the last year or year and a half. So we are going to be seeing a playable demo, apparently, on this game sometime before the middle to end of September. And they're going to announce it in some time near the end of this month is what I'm hearing. Now, there's been a lot of talk about PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X price, and this is going to be released pretty much on the same day that PlayStation 5 releases uh, information on the date they plan on releasing the console and how much it's gonna cost. Now, that's gonna be for a different video, but Microsoft and Sony right now are trying to hold out as long as they possibly can to release a price on this system. And who could really blame them? Why would Microsoft wanna put out there that, hey, we're gonna charge $500 for our system, and then Sony can basically just come back and say, okay, we're gonna charge 350. So they're kind of holding out on one another, but their partners like retailers, uh, Target, Walmart, Amazon, um, Best Buy, GameStop, these places need to know what the dates are gonna be and the pre-order dates and availability for wholesale for them to get the systems in stock how much it's going to cost they can't hold out too much longer so we should expect a price and a release date by the end of august beginning of september they've got to give a 60-day window or, or so maybe even more to the retailers so we're going to know something for sure from this moment on in the next 30 days from today we should know the price and the release date officially of both systems as well as this silent hill game so I don't know if you guys are excited for it. I know I am just stoked. Silent Hill is a title that I am going to get for sure. If it's indeed a launch title, I am going to be streaming it at midnight, the night the system and the game come out. I'm going to be on that for like days on days. Call of Duty is going to have to hold off for that because Silent Hill is my favorite survival horror of all time. In fact, the only game that comes anywhere close to Silent Hill, and I think that it's it's fairly close in some ways, um, and that was Evil Within. I thought Evil Within was was really the only thing we have outside of Silent Hill that's truly survival horror. In fact, Resident Evil or Capcom had to take Resident Evil to a first-person based game to compete uh, with Silent Hill and Evil Within, because Silent Hill and Evil Within are true survival horror games, whereas Resident Evil over the years has become action survival horror. So Resident Evil has definitely got its scary edge, but it's more action scary, whereas Silent Hill and Evil Within are just downright terrifying. Like, especially if you guys have played Silent Hill when it first came out. Silent Hill 2 wasn't as scary as Silent Hill 1, though. And most people won't play Silent Hill because the graphics aren't that good. Not saying everybody won't, but I definitely know a lot of people that, you know, haven't played it that want to but won't because of the graphics. So they would need like a reboot, like a legitimate remake in order to play that. Uh, whereas myself, I own three copies of Silent Hill and they're sitting right behind me and I've played them extensively. I played Resident Evil, I mean, excuse me, Silent Hill 1 like three or four times through, like somewhat recently, about four or five years ago. And Silent Hill 2, the same thing. Silent Hill 3, I've only beaten like twice. And it was good, but not quite as good as Silent Hill 2. Like Silent Hill really digs into survival. Like I remember in Silent Hill 2, you had to take uh, this hook that you found, a fishing hook, and this uh, 
piece of hair and you had to tie the hair to the hook to put it in the drain to pull a key out that had got flushed down the sewer. It's just crazy stuff like that. Resident Evil does puzzles like that too, but just not as intense. So it's a game that has really, really opened my mind to how much fun PlayStation 5 could be at launch, uh, even more so than it already was. So what do you guys think about Silent Hill? I'm going to show you guys right now uh, this website that lists uh, Silent Hill is coming out as a launch title. I'm looking at uh, looking up right now. I'm going to show you guys right here. Let's switch over so you guys can see what I'm looking at. Um, okay. So here we go. And right there you guys can see it. There is whispers of a reboot on July 6th. Uh, a leaker claimed Konami was in the works on this. And it shows that it appears it's being worked on on July 6th. There's a leaker here, his name's Dusk. And he explained that Silent Hill's coming back. And you can say with a certainty, um, it's been since the start of this year. Japanese developed Silent Hill game started development at the beginning of 2019. Uh, planning and work done by the end of 2018 so they planned it and uh they started in 2019 so it's right there um you know i don't know who this guy is i mean i'm sure he's somewhat famous now from uh leaking all this stuff but it's not just him it's a lot of people see it says here that um he has predicted like other stuff in the gaming market or the gaming uh world i guess you could say i don't know but in any case he is he is like uh predicting all this stuff like an oracle of video games so whatever the case may be he's most likely not wrong based on the fact of how many times he's done this and how many times he's been right and wrong uh it's extremely likely that this is going to be a launch title meaning in november sometime in november we're going to be playing the new solid hill on playstation 5 and it's an exclusive, which means it's just one more reason why Sony is going to be up on Microsoft because there's a lot of Silent Hill fans, a lot. And it, like I said, it being exclusive, you guys can read that right there. It says the Silent Hill, a new Silent Hill installment is finally coming and it's going to be an exclusive for the upcoming PS5. The leaker claims that Sony will most likely decide to show off the game at some point in August or September. Now, that is the, the biggest point of all this because we are going to have to get a date, a release date, a pre-order date of some sort, as well as the overall price of each system, physicals or the standard and the digital, as well as some of the games that we haven't seen, including uh, God of War, which is going to have you know uh, a unique trailer sometime in August or September. So with that, uh, it's really looking pretty crazy, if you ask me. Like Silent Hill coming back again for the PlayStation 5 like just imagine Silent Hill in 4K at 120p you're gonna be like scared to death to play that in the dark I just hope they don't turn it into like this really crazy um off the walls action paced game like because I'm not interested in in running and sliding through the mountains with a shotgun like Call of Duty like Resident Evil 6 and like you guys remember Resident Evil 6 I'm not into that I don't want it to be fast. I want it to be slow, methodical puzzles, survival horror. I really hope they stick to the original formula of Silent Hill. I just don't want to see this turn into some crazy off the wall action game. That's not what I want it to be. And I don't think that's going to happen. I'm just putting that out there because sometimes game developers, they get an idea that, whoa, we could reinvent the wheel here. Let's not reinvent the wheel. Let's leave the wheel alone. Leave it. Just leave it as it is. It doesn't need to be reinvented. Just make this a great sequel. That's all I ask. Do not, do not screw this up, Konami. You have one job, one, and you will not have Hideo Kojima on your side, who is pretty much the brains of your entire operation. You straight up suck without him. So please do not screw this up because I will be devastated. I have a collection of Silent Hill behind me. I'm gonna have to show you guys. Hold on, let me show you. So let me just go ahead and look at some comments and I will show you guys my Silent Hill stuff. Um, let me read these comments over here so I don't miss them. I want to shout everybody out. I don't want anybody to think I'm missing them. What's up, Chris? What's up, Frost? Um, make sure I'm not missing anybody else in here. Uh, 
Oh, you change the rotors and your focus. Well, we're going to have a stream coming up here in the next half hour. Or actually, right when I get off here, we're going to go right to Call of Duty. Uh, but I'm going to show you guys. Let me check this out here. Let me show you. Okay, so I had to go over here and get this for you guys to show you that these right here are my two favorite games for PlayStation 1 and PlayStation 2, okay? Right here, these are the greatest survival horror games of all time, and I really hope that they do not screw this up because, like I said, these games were the best survival horror games of all time, and I think that Silent Hill 3 can kind of be forgotten about to a degree. As good as it was, it just, I mean, it... I don't know. I would give it like a 6 or a 7 out of 10, where Silent Hill 1 and 2 get a perfect 10. So, in my eyes, I like to look at it being Silent Hill 1, Silent Hill 2, and that's pretty much the last in the series. I don't like to, um, I don't like to play or think about 3, because it wasn't quite good enough. It was, it was good, but it didn't live up to the hype, in my opinion. So... What is up, social? Welcome to the live stream, buddy. Um, so what do you guys think? What do you guys think about the new Silent Hill? I'm, I'm thinking that uh, a lot of you guys are excited for it. And if you guys didn't already know about it, now you do. And it's hard to say that 100% this game is going to come out, but this guy's got a pretty good positive history with predicting these things. He's not really predicting them. He's getting leaks and leaked information. Um, but in any case... Uh, he said this game's coming for sure, so I don't think he would put his reputation on the line. And with that being said, it's pretty much going to be coming out. It's all basically but guaranteed at this point. I'll be disappointed if it doesn't happen. I know that. Um, yeah, the humidity was pretty bad today. So if you guys, um, if you guys haven't played Silent Hill, then you pretty much don't know what you're missing. You guys need to check out Silent Hill 1 and 2. Somehow play it on a PS2. You can play PS1 games on a PS2. I would get them both for the PlayStation 2 if you have a PlayStation 2 console, that is. If you don't, watch somebody's long play on YouTube. I may long play them both at some point. Uh, they're fantastic games, scary as shit, and the new one's going to be great. So I really appreciate you guys stopping in to check out this video. I hope you guys liked it. Hopefully it wasn't too long. If you haven't already smash that like button and share the video and of course subscribe a lot of stuff coming guys i'm right here in the game room as you guys can see new streaming setup gonna be going at it in some call of duty here in about 10 minutes so i'm gonna end this live stream get set up with call of duty and hopefully you guys will join me for the live stream which will be starting here in the next uh, five to ten minutes oh i don't <laughs> the nurse that's right the nurse from uh silent hill 2 Oh, yeah. All right, guys. I appreciate you stopping in. So just to recap today's video, Silent Hill Remake Reboot. It's like a soft reboot. is coming for PlayStation 5 as an exclusive launch. It's pretty much all but confirmed, but the probability is like 99.9% .9 that it's happening as a launch title. And I'll give you guys a sneak peek at the next video, which is going to be the PS5 and the Xbox Series X. Rumor has it the PlayStation 5 is going to launch at $399 for the digital. Uh, so, so apparently Sony is like going to be cutting the price. That's what I heard. So we're going to find out $399 for a PS5 is really, really cheap. Really, really cheap, guys. Um, and uh, yeah, we'll see you guys live stream. Thanks for stopping in. Be sure to check out the next video that I upload, which will be on PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X uh, price leak. I'm going to be doing that in the next couple of days but don't forget to check out the live stream here in about five ten minutes but that's going to do it for today's video i hope i hope you guys enjoyed it and look forward to playing silent hill the return reboot it's not a remake but whatever it's going to be i hope it's good and i think you guys will love it be safe out there in the strange times that we're having right now and we'll see all of you guys on the next upload peace